Warning, this video contains some actions that may not be safe. Please be cautious and claim no responsibility for any injuries obtained from following the instructions presented in this video. So you may be wondering why your two inch build is getting insane jello on the video. And that could be due to a lot of things, but most likely it's because you didn't balance your propellers or you crashed and your propellers are really unbalanced. Either way, it's time to balance your propellers. So for larger propellers, you usually use a prop balancer like this one. This one is like a $2 one from eBay. It's actually pretty cool. It uses some magnets to levitate on um, this little wheel thing here. But we won't be using this today. And the reason why I'm making a video on specifically microquad prop balancing is because it's a little different. And it took me a while to find out the best way to do it, but I finally found the way. So for this, you're literally going to need props, tack, tape. That's all, just three things. As for the tape that you'll need, any tape works. I like to use scotch tape just because it's cheap and in abundance, but packing tape also works. The one problem with the packing tape is it's kind of hard to cut to exact measures that you need, but it is a lot stickier than scotch tape. Just don't use anything like duct tape, which is really thick and bulky. So before we actually get started here, you probably are wondering, well, my prop is really light. Do I still need to balance it? And for example, these Gemfan 2035 polycarbonate props, they're actually pretty light and they come relatively balanced. Like if the actual blades are pretty thin and skinny and light, you probably could get away without balancing it and your video would be pretty fine. But for example, on these 2030 props, which were for the Baby Hawk, these blades are huge, they're thick, and about half of these propellers are so poorly balanced, you can't even see where you're flying, the jello is so bad. But once balanced, these are amazing propellers because they're half the price of the polycarbonate propellers and they're almost as durable. And then the same thing with these 1940 props, there's some big blades here and they definitely do need to be balanced. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm going to be balancing the 2030 props as they are the ones that really need it the most. So set these props aside. And for this, let's grab our tape and cut a semi-long strip of it and then cut one more strip because one strip we'll be using as tape we actually tape to the propellers and one we'll use to actually tape our tack down. So just grab like a cardboard box or the edge of a table and what you essentially want to do is just get the tack so that it's sticking out like that relatively level and tape that down. Just stick your propeller on and make sure that it actually can spin freely like your tack isn't coated with some glue or you didn't have to force it on there. So what you want to do is just tap the propeller and find which blade wants to sink to the bottom. For me, it looks like that blade is wanting to sink to the bottom, so I'm actually going to add tape to the blade to the left, and the reason for this is, as this blade goes down, the blade on the left is the one that's mainly coming up, while the blade on the right is actually already at the top, so it's not really affecting the fall of that blade. You really don't need much tape. These blades, it's like a tenth of a gram that they're off, but a tenth of a gram spinning at thousands of RPMs can really make a difference. All you have to do is stick it on the propeller somewhere. I suggest sticking it on the underside of the propeller just so you don't see it. I would suggest trying to avoid like getting it around the edge of the blade here just because it will eventually fall off. So just kind of on the bottom just like that. And then we want to test it again and see if it does the same thing. Yep, keeps doing it. So you just want to keep adding tape until the blades are level. And there you go, this prop is moderately balanced now. So this one was really off, I had to add like three small strips of tape. And if this process is just too much work for you and you just don't have the time for it, I would just suggest going for a prop that's lighter like the Gemfan 2035 polycarbonate. So now you guys know how to balance microquad propellers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and see you next time.